The next thing I'm going to do is put this little back on. This is what is going to hold uh, the bell on. And uh, we have to figure out it can be oriented two ways. We get, need to get the right way. So to do that, I'm going to orient the clock. So this is the front. The alarm's over on the right, and you're looking at it from the front. And the balance wheel is at the bottom. So I'll turn that over. You can also see the, the adjustment, speed adjustment is at the bottom of the bell. And with everything set this way, I can see that the three holes of the bell have two holes at the top and one on the bottom. So let's put this plastic part in here. So it lines up the same way. Two holes on the top and one on the bottom. <clears throat> then I can use these screws to screw it in. Oops, it's not the right kind. These two machine screws. Okay. Screws fit pretty tightly there. That's probably how it's supposed to go. Okay. So now, screw that down. Oops. Good. I think the alarm goes on next. I might be wrong about that though. Yeah, I think I am. Okay, here's the front. So let's turn around to the front and uh, it sticks out that way. So notice there are two, oops, notice there are two screw holes on the bottom here and one at the top. That's because the two holes go with the base and the one goes with the top. Okay, so oriented that way, I plop this in. Now, I find these screws really hard to put on. So I'm going to start them with a uh, pair of pliers.
One more. Okay, I think I have that started. Maybe not. Yeah. Okay, now I can tighten those down. dial goes on next and it was originally put on with just some double-sided tape I'm gonna do the same here I'm gonna put on some just a little piece of double-sided tape on each side and see if that is gonna do the trick maybe three pieces The double-sided tape didn't work, so I'm going to use some craft glue. Uh, I've had good luck with this uh, in 3D printing uh, projects. So I'm just going to put a dot of, a couple of dots of craft glue on the face. And I should be able to, you know, a later repairer should be able to cut that with a uh, hobby knife. Come on. Maybe this one's dry. Oh, there it comes. Man. <laughs> Again, it doesn't stick. <sighs> I'm going to use some glue stick. And again, I just want to use a little. I just want to stick the uh, face on without uh, making it hard for somebody in the future to take it off. Okay, now it's important to get this lined up right. I can line up the six with this little notch down here. That sounds good. Oops, yeah. <sighs> huh, didn't stick. <sighs> okay. Gonna use a lot more glue. Huh. 
Hopefully somebody in the future can peel this off. Okay. That lined up with the notch in the top and the bulb in the bottom. Okay. Okay. That seems to be good. Once that dries, I think we'll be in good shape. Wow. Okay. Now, the hands. Uh, first of all, I wonder if I can put this bell on. And still get... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, I'm going to put the bell on. Well, these are sheet metal screws that go into plastic, so I have to make sure not to uh, over tighten them. I have to be careful not to over tighten them. test the alarm, but uh, we can do that now. I need to put all the knobs on here. That's the alarm, which is tight. And this is the time. Uh-huh. nice and tight. Then there are these two knobs that look the same, except one of them, if you look really closely, one of them has a slot in it, and the other one is threaded. So the threaded one uh, goes on the threaded, yeah, the threaded one goes on here. That's the alarm set. So, when I turn this, the alarm ought to go off at some point. Ooh, it feels very tight. There it goes. Huh. Oh. The alarm wasn't armed. Ah, maybe this is too tight. Oh. I should have tested the alarm before I got going here. Okay, let's see what's going wrong here. Oh, okay. I think that is supposed to be underneath that. I think that that little catch is supposed to be underneath, not above. Hmm. 
And I think this is tightened down too much. So I loosen it here. The alarm ought to go off. Maybe not. Okay. In that case, I need to bend this wire just a little bit that way. There. Huh. Let's try that again. Okay, the alarm set is turning there. It went off, and the alarm should go off. Hmm. There isn't really a whole lot of space to move, as you can see. Yeah, it just catches it right on the end of that. adjusted right now. That little clip, yeah, it doesn't matter which side that clip lands on, it's just that it lands. Okay, and when I wind the alarm, that is, clip is supposed to pop out. That There, see how the escapement moved up? So I can wind the alarm, and then I can turn the alarm time. Notice this is pulled out, and so this pin is free of that arm. It's kind of upside down, isn't it? You can't see it in the light. There. Okay, now as I turn, there. Then it either runs down or you can push the button to shut it off. Okay. Great. I can put all this back. Okay. I wonder if these screws are supposed to be a little loose so that the bell vibrates better. I don't know. I'll try that out. I'll start with them tight and I'll loosen them. Nice. And then when you wind it, the button pops out a little. So I have to kind of turn the alarm past that. Okay. So the alarm works. Oops. All right. This goes on here. Oops. This goes on here. Everything's wound. And now back to this pin that has the, or this knob that has the slot in it, that just pushes on here. Uh -huh. 
and that sets the time. Okay. Now we've got an alarm clock, we just don't know what time it is. So it is time to put the hands on. So I can put the alarm hand really anywhere I like. There. Nice with the pressing of the paper. Okay. So now as I turn the alarm, now that goes. And when it goes off, I know that the alarm and the hour hand are at the same spot. So I'd like that to be noon. So let me bend this up to noon. Let's try that again. A little before noon. Okay. One more time around. Pretty good. So now we know it's noon. We really ought to stop the clock. For these next bits. Okay, so now I can put the hour hand on. There we go. And I can bend it around to noon. And the minute hand. Say it's straight up noon. Shoot. <laughs> I thought this part would be easy. There we go. Okay, let's try the alarm again. Uh, a little early yet. Let's see, let me push it down a little that way. Got interrupted there. Um, so I found the you know you can you can slide these hands around, so it makes it really easy to just uh, this hand should be moving. And the clock should be running. Well, that's a puzzle. Oh, I bet I didn't get it on the shaft. Yeah. Okay. So I have to get this little hole on that little hole in the middle. Or else it won't work. Great. Yeah, and the fact that it's running backwards a little bit means I missed. Oh man, this is terrible. I wonder how in the world. Okay. We've still got lots of time, and now this is running. So when that comes up to noon, I want to push these two hands back to noon. I think. Okay, I'm going to call that noon. Now let's see when the alarm goes off. Pretty good. Okay. I 
I see that's scraping just a little bit, and I'd like to, I'd like to have it not do that. Um, Hmm. Yeah, the scrapes right there. Okay, so the uh, alarm hand still clears the clears the hour hand, but it also clears the uh, hmm, clears the face. Ah. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. It's as if it bends up some. Well, I think faced with a choice of scraping or hanging, I'll go with scraping. Although it's not a good choice, I can't really see how the hand is off. Okay, let's try it again. Still scrapes, but we're done. Okay, so now I get to put the lid on. So take this off. So the glass goes in this rim, like so. And that goes into the face, like so. That isn't right, because that doesn't look nice. I think it goes the other way around. Of course, I'm getting fingerprints all over the glass now. I'll have to take those off with Windex. Okay, I've cleaned the lens here, the glass, the bezel, with Windex. And so now, I can tell that that should, oh right, I remember now. The glass goes in first, and then this bezel holder goes in, so that you get that kind of an effect. Okay. Then the clock goes in like so. And then <laughs> deal with those nasty bolts again. Nuts. Hmm. Okay, got that in. Good. 
so these don't go that way. They have to be dropped in. Goody. Okay. Once again, use the pliers to line up the nut. Drop it in. Gee, that was too easy. <sighs> going well. Okay. Okay. Drops right in. Hmm. Makes it look easy. be nice to put the face in. Okay, the base goes toward the back, like so. It's looking more like a clock now. Okay, now I can put the base on. Okay. <laughs> and the bell is the last thing. Interesting. Again, okay. Not too tight. 
Now let's try the alarm again, see what it sounds like. Well, it's run out. Let's wind it up. Boy, that's a loud alarm. Spring. By the way, these two keys, one of these two keys were missing when I bought the clock. And I tried buying another clock that I could cannibalize. Um, but it too was missing a uh, a key a winder, so I wound up just buying a uh, an assortment of uh, alarm keys from Time Savers. Of that assort assortment of like seventy two keys, two of them, three of them, fit these clocks, and luckily I only needed three, so that worked out really well. Okay, now the only thing left to do, besides a little bit of cleaning, ugh, um is to um, adjust the speed. And we do that by just sliding this thing, the plus minus adjuster back and forth. Although as it is, I think it should be um, losing about a minute a week. Um, since, since I have to wind it every day, that's probably about as good as I can hope. Four. So let's set the time. Uh, Twelve to four. Uh, yes, twelve to four. No, Twelve to five, rather. Twelve to four. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. So that should go off at eight thirty. But there we have it. The finished clock. Well, the clock ran just great for about 45 minutes and then stopped dead. And I shook it and it ran for about another hour and then stopped dead. And I wondered what was going on. Well, I finally realized that what, what's happened is that the second hand is too low and hooks against the minute hand at some places on the dial. So you can see that it's kind of locked up against there. And I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can. That uh, the second hand is just too low. So I need to open everything up again and uh, make the second hand, bend the second hand a little up so it gets closer to the glass, but still uh, has plenty of room and then the clock ought to run better.